Russian Aerospace Forces pilots flying the fifth-generation Suhoi Su-57 may soon have drones serving as loyal wingmen, assisting in the operations of aircraft in real time. Rostec Managing Director Yuri Koptev told reporters that the state defense conglomerate has continued to develop the S-70 Onotnik B, an unmanned aerial system, UAS, that could serve as a support aircraft for the stealth fighter. The drones, loyalty would be unquestionable but the level of autonomy may be less than expected. According to a report from Army Recognition, citing Coptive, a two-seat variant of the Su-57 is being developed specifically to command and control up to four Okotnik drones simultaneously, with the unmanned systems being employed in a variety of roles that could include swarming tactics, saturation strikes, and real-time intelligence sharing. In contrast, the drones could further be employed to act as decoys, jammers, or strike elements. It added, the Su-57 pilot can maintain a safe distance while shaping the battle space. Are two-seater aircraft required for loyal wingmen? There is no denying that this could be seen as a significant leap forward with drones supporting a manned fighter, but it still means that a combat systems officer will be responsible for controlling the drones. This could highlight that loyal wingmen still require significant guidance, at least more than a pilot can handle. It is unclear if the U.S. efforts with its collaborative combat aircraft, CCA, require a weapons systems officer to direct drones. If that is the case, it would mean that current fifth-generation fighters in U.S. service, the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II, won't operate with the CCA. However, as the Okotnik can allow the Su-57 to maintain that safe distance, it would suggest that the twin-seat F-15EX could serve as a drone command aircraft, staying out of harm's way while the CCA does the heavy lifting. Moreover, this could suggest that the U.S. Air Force's F-47, a sixth-generation manned fighter, and the U.S. Navy's F-AXX could be produced in two-seat versions to support drones. Russia's loyal wingman, the S-70 Okotnik. The recent announcement about the Okotnik comes amid months of little news, Apart from the reports that a Su-57 may have accidentally downed one of the uncrewed aircraft last fall, the Kremlin had revealed a few details about the drone months before and since that incident. As Harrison Cass explained for the national interest, Russia has been developing the S-70 since 2011. Rival firms, MiG and Suhoi, have been collaborating to build the S-70, which is being billed as a sixth-generation unmanned aerial vehicle. The unmanned S-70 is based on the MiG-designed Mikoyan SCAT, sharing some technologies with the fifth-generation Suhoi Su-57. The drone is reportedly around 20 tons, powered by an AL-31 turbojet engine, the same used on the Suhoi Su-27 fighter. According to Russian claims, it can reach a top speed of 1,000 km and a range of 6,000 km. It is equipped with electro-optical targeting and a radio system, as well as other types of reconnaissance equipment. It also has a pair of internal bays that can carry up to 2.8 tons of weapons. On paper, it is a highly capable wingman. The more significant issue is when and when it will be fielded. Russia continues to struggle to produce the Su-57 in substantial numbers, and it is unclear how many twin-seat models are now in service. The Okotnik heavy attack drone's rollout has hardly instilled confidence in the system. It performed its debut flight, lasting just over 20 minutes under an operator's control, on August 3, 2019. Not much was heard about it until test flights were also carried out in the summer of 2023, possibly to dispel the rumors that it was little more than vaporware. Last August, Vladimir Artyakov, Deputy General Director at Rostec, told RIA Novosti that the initial pilot batch of S-70s was in production at the company's Novosibirsk aircraft plant. However, details were still sparse, and no numbers or timeline for the first unmanned aircraft's delivery were available. The Okotnik was also absent from last summer's Army 2024 Military Technical Forum in Russia, resulting in speculation that Artyakov was merely blowing smoke. Koptev's recent comments may be just more of the same, with just enough details to keep us guessing. Rusia Lunkerkin prototype Penerbengan Perdana Pasawat Narawik Sarang Barato Kotnik Yang Kangi. 
Pengdiriman serial pasawat narawak tersbut ke pasukan akan dimulai pada tahun 2024. Prototype penerbangan perdana pasawat narawak serang barat s-70 feet okotnik, Hunter. Novosibirsk, 14 December. TAS. Prototype penerbangan perdana pasawat narawak serang barat s-70 feet okotnik, Hunter. Rusia Young Kengi Dilankurkan di Novosibirsk Aviation Enterprise dan Persiapan Sedang Dilakukan Untuk Penerbangan Perdana Pesawat Narawak Tersbut, Kata Wakil Mentari Pertahanan Rusia Alexei Kriveruchko Pada Hari Salasa. Palunkaran Pesawat Narawak Tersbut Menandakan Akir Dari Parakitan Kesaluruhan Barang Tersbut dan Perlengkapania Dengan Semua Paralatan Yang Diperlukan di Dalam Pesawat Sesuai Dengan Persiratan Untuk Pesawat dan Paralihan Ke Uji Darat Yang Comprehensive Untuk Mempersiapkan Penerbangan Perdananya, Kata Wakil Mentari Pertahanan Tersbut. Wakil Mentari Pertahanan Rusia Yang Sedang Dalam Perjalanan Kerja K. Novosibirsk Memoriksa Kesapatan Pemenuhan Renkana Pengadan Pertahanan di Perusahaan Penerbangan Novosibirsk dan Mengadakan Pertemuan Dengan Manajemen Perusahaan Tersbut, di mana ia membahas peleksanan kontrak pemerinta. Pajabat Pertahanan Tersbut Mengawasi Palunkaran Prototype Penerbangan Pesawat Narawak Okotnik Pertama dan Memoriksa Prozes Parakitan Prototype Kejua Pesawat Narawak Tersbut. Perusahaan Pesawat Narawak Bersatu Milik Perusahaan Negara Rastek Malunkirkan Pesawat Narawak S-70 Feet Okotnik, Young Delinkapi Dengan Nozal Jet Dater, Kata Rastek, Mengo Mentari Palunkaran Pesawat Narawak Tersbut. Okotnik Baru Mamiliki Nozal Darang Dater Sabagai Fidor Udamanya, Young Mendarangi Tanda Radarnya, Kata CEO Rastek Sergei Chemazov. Separti Yang Datunjukan Ole CEO United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, Yuri Sliasar, Pekerjan di Bawa Program Okotnik Maripakan Area Utama Bagi Perusahaan Suhoi Dan UAC. Hari ini kami berapaya keras untuk menyelesaikan uji koba sesepatnya dan melunkirkan produksi serial, kata kepala eksekutif tersebut. Pesawat Narawak Serang Okotnik Yang Kangi. Pesawat Narawak S-70 Feet Okotnik. Yang dikembangkan oleh Biro Desain Suhoi Mamiliki Teknologi Saluman dan Desain Siap Terbang, Tanpa Ekor, Yang Mengarangi Tanda Radarnya. Menorat Data Sumber Terbuka, Pesawat Narawak Tersbut Mamiliki Barat Lepas Landis 20 Ton dan Dapat Menkapai Kesepatan Sekitar 1.000 km Jam. Pengiriman Serial Pesawat Narawak Tersbut Kepada Pasukan Akan Dimulai Pada Tahun 2024. Pesawat Narawak Serang Barat Okotnik Melakukan Penerbangan Perdananya Pada Tanggal 3 Agustus 2019. Penerbangan Tersbut Berlangsung Salama Labi Dari 20 Minit Di Bawah Kendali Operator. Pada Tanggal 27 September 2019, Okotnik Melakukan Penerbangan Bersama Dengan Jet Temper Generasi Kalima Su-57. Pesawat Narawak Tersbut Bermanuver di Udara Dalam Mode Otomatis Pada Ketinggian Sekitar 1.600 Meter Dan Penerbangania Berlangsung Salama Labi Dari 30 Menit. Biro Desain Motor Dari Asojasi Produksi Bangunan Motor Ufa, Bagian Dari United Engine Corporation, Yang Trulabat Dalam Penjembangan Mesin Untuk Pesawat Narawak Baru, Sebelumnya Meliporkan Bawa Okotnik Versi Kejua Akan Delengkapi Dengan Pendorong Dengan Nozal Dater Baru. Separti yang dijelaskan oleh para insinyur perusahaan, nozal dater yang diproduksi oleh printer 3D akan mengarangi tanda tangan pesawat narawak terhadap rudal penkari panis musu. Separti yang dikatakan UAC sebelumnya kepada tas, pesawat narawak terbaru akan mampu beroperasi bersama dengan pesawat temper generasi kalima SU-57. Pesawat Narawak Okotnik Akan Dapat Menyerang Target Yadara Dan Darat Sabagai Bagian Dari Interaksi Yang Berpusat Pada Jeringan Dengan Pesawat Temper Tersbut, Sabagai Mana Dijelaskania. Sumber D. Industri Pembuatan Pesawat Dalam Negri Sebelumnya Menggatakan Kepada Tas Bawa Sorong Pilot Jet Temper Generasi Kalima Suhoi Su-57 Akan Sekara Bersaman Menggordinasikan Operasi Empat Pesawat Narawak Serang Barat Okotnik Terbaru. Selain ITU, Sekalampok Pesawat Narawak Kemingkanan Besar Akan Dikendalikan Dari Versi Kusis Dua Kursi Su-57 Yang Baru, Sabagai Mana Dijelaskania. Menorat Data Kementarian Pertahanan Rusia, Salama Penerbangan Gabungan Pertamanya Dengan Jet Temper Su-57, 
Pasawat Narawak Okotnik Baro Brasi Dalam Mode Odomatis Dalam Configurasi Penunya, Memasuki Area Peringatan Temper Udaranya. Salama Penerbangan Gabungan Tersput, SU 57 Dan Okotnik Menguji Prowasan Maidan Radar Jet Temper Dan Menguluarkan Data Akuisisi Target Untuk Mengunakan Senjata Young Dilankurkan Dari Yadara, Unkopnya. Mentari Pertahanan Rusia Sergei Shaigu Mengatakan Pada Bulan Agustus Bawa Pengerjan Pasawat Narawak Sarang Barato Kotnik Diharapkan Akan Selesai Pada Tahan 2022 Dan Paluang Akan Mungkil Pada Sat Itu Untuk Menandatangani Kontrak Jengka Panjang Untuk Pengiriman Pasawat Narawak Paling Kengi Ini Kepada Pasukan Rusia.